Hey guys, it's Hammy World Rocks 48, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a home for your gerbil or gerbils. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to get an enclosure, or you need to choose an enclosure for your pet. I personally like um, storage bins. So if I was to choose, I would either choose an aquarium or a storage bin. I like storage bins because I like storage bins better than aquariums because they're a lot cheaper. Um, but but with aquariums and storage bins, you can choose the size. More than the um, the store bought cages, you can't really choose the size and the shape of the cage. Um, and they're a lot easier for the gerbils to kick bedding out because, as you can see, gerbils like to dig. All gerbils dig. So it's not just these two gerbils. They absolutely love to dig and burrow. And it's just not a good idea to have a store-bought cage with really low sides where your gerbil can just kick bedding out. Um, gerbils need a lot of bedding. Well, not a whole lot. But, you know, they need something to dig in. And a little tiny little layer of bedding is not really going to help them dig that much. As you can see, I put at least that much, which is about an inch or two of bedding down in there. Um, you want to put a safe bedding. So, yeah. So you need to put the, you need to get an aquarium like this or a storage bin. I mean, I can't speak today. You need to get a storage bin, an aquarium, or any store-bought cage to put them in. Um, I recommend storage bins and aquariums, as I said, but um, storage bins are a lot more affordable than the aquariums. Uh, yeah. No smaller than this for two gerbils, and no smaller than a 10-gallon aquarium for two um, gerbils. So, yeah. Those are just the recommended sizes that I recommend, so, yeah. Um, as well, after you've done that, you need to put bedding in the, to the base of the cage. Um, I like to choose Aspen because, as you can see, you need to put a lot of bedding and be it for them to have some comfortable digging room. Um, and bedding does run pretty expensive, so you can use different types of bedding like Carefresh, Aspen, little tiny like corn cob bedding, or like um, the little soft granule bedding, stuff like that, or Carefresh. I personally choose Aspen because it is a lot cheaper and more affordable, and I don't, what is he eating, or she? I didn't give you any food. Where'd you get that? Are you chewing on something bad? He was chewing on a piece of bedding. That was weird. But, um, yeah, Aspen bedding I like best because I can put a whole lot of it in there and it won't cost a lot. Things like, um, paper type beddings are a lot expensive to maintain, but if you don't have the money or if you want, or if you're willing to stop, if you're willing to pay that much money, then that is perfectly fine. Carefresh is, I guess, a good bedding, but I don't like it because it's a bit dusty. So you need to put bedding in the base. At least one to three inches of bedding is recommended for your gerbil so they can have enough digging. As you can see, they're non-stop active creatures, and they love to dig. So let's see how much I actually have in here. Let me s flatten it out. Get my ruler. I have... No, 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 that's not something for you to chew on. I have one and a half inches. It stopped right there, so I have one and a half inches of bedding in here. So that's a pretty good amount. Next, what you need to do is you need... These are not in order of importance, but, you know, you need to put a house for your dribbles to sleep in. It's important that you have a house because, you know, you'll need somewhere for them to sleep. So I've just put chose to put mine in the corner right there. Um, whoa! Plastic houses, some people say, are not good for your gerbil because they chew on them and stuff. But this type of super pet igloo is not easy for my gerbils to chew on. Um, it's just not very comfortable for them to chew on. So they choose not to. You could also use cardboard houses, but those get chewed up pretty quick. So if you buy them, they can get chewed up pretty quick. Um, cardboard houses like tissue boxes work really well too. You can put more than one house in there if your bin is big enough, but I don't really want to put two because it's not. Get off of there, girl. So yeah. Next is a wheel. You're going to need a wheel in your cage because gerbils 
exercise continuously as they're very active creatures and they need that to lose weight you know not lose weight but you know keep active and keep fit it's not very recommended to not have a wheel in there and as you see as soon as I put it in there my gerbils attack it um, I have two wheels this one and this one and there's a little opening right there for the gerbil to go in there if you were wondering how they got in there but um, I put wh two wheels because you know two gerbils yeah next is a water bottle you're gonna need a water bottle because of course you are gonna need your gerbil to get water I've just duct taped this one with some strain with storage bins that's the only bad thing you can't really attach water bottles to the side as easily as with a store-bought cage or an aquarium hi BB but you know all you have to do is string it up like this water bottle came with the string and it actually came from a store-bought cage string it up through that little loop or any loop and tape the string down to the bin and it works perfectly fine um, of course you need to put clean water in there as well a food dish hold on a second you're gonna need a food dish for your gerbil um, I don't recommend scattering the food into the cage because it's just not a good thing I like to put mine right in the middle because the corners are where the gerbils like to dig the most and you know I don't want them knocking it over but you know you need a food dish and also I would recommend a food dish that is very heavy like this ceramic one there's my hamster he's up hi buddy hi bud he just woke up so ceramic one you can find them in different colors and stuff like that I have a pink one because they're girls Next, you're going to need food. I like Ecotrician food. So, for food, let me just put this down in there. Um, for food, I like to put at least half a tablespoon for two gerbils, but I feed them twice a day, so remember that. They need at least a tablespoon. Um, I would recommend about half a tablespoon to a tablespoon per gerbil, but my gerbils only eat half a tablespoon each gerbil, and since I feed them twice a day, I only feed them half a tablespoon. I don't know if that made sense to you guys, but yeah, they're going to need a food dish. Then they're going to need somewhere to play. Um, I put that in. That's something edible so they can chew it up, and as you can kind of tell, get out of there. They've chewed it up quite a bit. They love to chew on it. So that is something that they really like. Other things for them to be chewing on. Well, other things is you're going to need something for them to chew on. As you can see, they've kind of chewed this all up. But I'm still going to add that in. Other things would be Timothy cubes, little chew sticks, or cheesy chews. So you can just place those all around the cage. And your gerbil would definitely love to play with those and chew on them then toys your gerbils are very active so they're gonna need toys to play with um, I really enjoy putting like tubes in there plastic tubes again it's plastic yes but it's very uncomfortable for them to chew on and it's gonna hurt their teeth so they're gonna stop chewing on it or have the sense not to chew on it so yeah uh. You can add other things in there like toilet paper tubes, but I really don't have space for that. So I change the toys out in here or the things or the setup every day. So I can just put that toilet paper tube in here tomorrow. But that's basically how you set up a gerbil cage um, or habitat. Thank you guys for watching. Um, always make sure you put food and water into the cage and change it daily. I mean... You don't have to change it daily, but you want to make sure they always have it and it's clean source of it. The reason why I feed my gerbil twice a day is because, you know, they kick bedding, so I really don't want to feed them all that food. And then they kick bedding in it and it's unedible for them. Because when the bedding's over it, they can't really find the food. But that's about it. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and request. And hope you have fun with your gerbil and their new setup home. Oh, and you also don't have to make the setup exactly like this or like this at all. You know, you just need those basic things. And there are different variations to wheels and hideaways and things like that. 
So please comment, rate, subscribe, request, enter my contest, all of that. And that's about it. Bye, guys.